What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool, back here again for Practical Machinists, and welcome to our live coverage of DMG Mori's Innovation Days here in Chicago. Now there's a lot of brand new releases and premieres here. The first one I want to show you guys is the CTX Beta 450TC, and I'm joined by Jacob, who's going to help us out. Nice meet you. Thank you very much for having us. Now, this machine, we've talked to a couple of people around here. Yep. Everybody says this is a big, exciting release. What makes the CTX Beta 450TC so exciting today? Well, what makes it most exciting is, I think, the dynamics, the turn mill capabilities, the power, uh, and the possibilities of having equal main and counter spindle. So we can put, uh, put up to 16 inch chucks on both sides. We have 12 inch chucks here. And then all the technology we offer, like uh, yeah, five axis turning, milling machine uh, possibilities, gear possibilities, and so on. Now, when I look at a machine like this, I mean, obviously DMG Mori is known for five axis spindles. Yeah. This thing looks like it has a more capable five axis spindle on it yeah. and that head than most five axis mills I see. What do we have packed into that head there? So the, the unique feature of that is the, the compact size. We call it, that's why we call it our compact master. Um, so our compact master spindle here comes with 15,000 RPM. Uh, I'm used to the Newton meter, so it's 120 Newton meter torques. Uh, so very powerful uh, milling capabilities uh, as well, yeah. Now you were saying these are actually equal spindles on here. So in a yeah. lot of machines, when we talk about that, there's a main spindle and a sub spindle. Yeah. And usually the sub spindle doesn't have the same torque, Absolutely. doesn't have the same RPMs. You're saying that I could run the exact same part on both sides, Correct. same RPM, same yeah. everything. So we can, we have two different options. So we have a smaller spindle here in standard, and then we go up to a four inch bore capacity as the bigger spindle, which we can match on the counter spindle side. That's why I call it counter spindle, not the sub spindle. So we have really equal possibilities on both sides. Yeah. So this thing not only is made for doing really crazy parts, you could essentially run this full lights out production with something like a bar feeder, could you not? Correct. So, Start it here, finish on this side. Yeah. So we have a, on this configuration, we also have a path catcher, uh, which is a conveyor belt out to the left side, uh, where we can finish the parts complete. And this is our goal typically, to finish parts completely, raw part in, finish part out, no manual intervention. Because yeah. you know it's harder than ever to find labor, it's hard to find right. people who know what they're doing. The more you can free up your people to set this up, yeah. press a button and hopefully walk away, yeah. come back the next day to a bunch of really good parts. Correct. So this is the goal, obviously completely finishing, also integrated technologies like adding gears and uh, other features like probing gives you the capability of running unattended, control the quality still. So all of these possibilities are available on that machine, yeah. Now, this machine, I'm guessing this is made in Germany. Where is this made? Correct. Yeah, we're building that machine in Bielefeld, Germany, which is like in the northern part of Germany. So we have three main factories in Germany, the front end, Bielefeld, and the Seebach factory. So it, we in Bielefeld focus on turn mill machine and on our robot to go automation in Bielefeld, yeah. And I was looking over here, how many tools can you fit in this thing? I have a feeling it's a little silly. Uh, I don't think it's silly, especially if you're looking into unmanned production. You need to have a couple of redundant tools. Um, so we start with 60 on this machine, we go up to 80, and then we can add an additional magazine with additional 120, so up to 200 tools we can put on that machine. But when I say silly, I mean it makes my brain hurt because yeah. that's a lot of tools in one machine. Yeah. Now, what industries are you seeing that are really excited about this machine? Who's putting these on the floor? I mean, all. There's no selection of certain industry. I mean, starting as a job shop, going into aerospace customers, medical, doesn't matter. This is not dedicated for a certain industry. Right. Giving you the flexibility we have on this machine, uh, it fits everywhere, basically. So whether you want to do power skiving, whether you want to do impellers, whether you want to do lights out production, this yeah. seems kind of a workhorse this across is, the yeah, board. Yeah. This is a single channel machine, so it's very flexible. Main spindle, counter spindle, finish everything in complete. Um, but yeah, you can still run it production if you want to. As well. And if people want to find out more about this machine, where should they go? Uh, they should contact our uh, responsible sales team and everywhere covered everywhere in the US and around the world obviously 
but also our dmgmori.com homepage uh, provides a lot of information. And YouTube, we have a couple of videos of the machine as well. I think we even show the same part we are showing here live today. We have a nice YouTube video of that as well. And yeah. And of course, they can come here too. They could Innovation come here, day. obviously, the rest of the week. We are Monday, uh, Tuesdays today. Uh, so we are here until Friday. So we are happy to answer all the questions. So. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. And Thank make you. sure you guys stay tuned as we continue our live coverage of DMG Morris.